Let me ask you a question. Do you feel tired in the morning, even after a full night's sleep? Do you go ahead and sometimes drag during the day? Do you want to fall asleep during the day? Well, that is a very common condition, and a lot of it comes from something called obstructive sleep apnea. And what obstructive sleep apnea simply is, is you get woken a number of times during the night because your airway gets blocked. And it may be the way you sleep. It may be the actual anatomy that you have. It may be that your tongue falls backward and your jaw falls backward and you may snore a lot. You might want to ask uh, your bed partner, do I snore a lot? Because, and they probably told you already that you snore a lot. So you know that there is a problem going on. Now, if you snore, that's an indication. If you feel tired during a day, that's all an indication that you may have something called obstructive sleep apnea. And what happens is, and the reason that you're tired during the day is because that wakes you up many times during the night. You may not even know it. You may not even come out of a complete sleep, but it disrupts your sleep because it blocks your airway. It disrupts the amount of oxygen that gets to your brain. You've got to give a big snore. Or you've got to kind of move around a little bit to shift to open your airway and that can happen once, twice, 10, 20, 50 times a night and that's why even after a full night's sleep you may feel very tired in the morning because you haven't really gotten a full night's sleep. You've gotten little snippets as the night has gone on. And another way that this all comes together and people wake up sometimes with very sore jaws or their teeth hurt is because one of the ways to unblock your airway while you're sleeping if you have obstructive sleep apnea is to grind your teeth. Your brain is screaming, I don't have enough oxygen. It moves the muscles, the jaw muscles that control your your lower jaw and that opens the airway and that's when you take a big breath and that can disturb your sleep but not only that it can harm your teeth give you a lot of stress in the head and neck give you a condition called TMJ migraines headaches it's all related so what can you do about it well the first thing you need to do is to get tested and yes I would recommend that if you have all those conditions together Go to your dentist who has been trained in treating obstructive sleep apnea and teeth grinding called bruxism and let them test you with a home sleep test that will go ahead and measure whether or not you've got obstructive sleep apnea and get the data from that and also will measure how much you are grinding your teeth at night to see if they're related and many times they are. The dentist then can go ahead and work with your physician and make you an oral sleep appliance that you can wear at night. And what that appliance is going to go ahead and do, custom fitted just for you, what that appliance is going to do is go ahead and move your jaw forward. So it never drops back during the night. It does not block your airway. You'll get a great night's sleep because you'll have the full amount of oxygen going in. Your brain will be happy. Your sleep will be happy. You'll be happy in the morning because you'll wake up fully rested. You won't be grinding your teeth. It'll take off a lot of the stress in your head and neck that you may have now as related of all these conditions going together. And yes, most certainly you can have each, each, uh, condition independently by themselves and this home sleep test will measure that. So you've got to go to a trained dentist, trained by the American Academy of Facial Aesthetics to do this properly, get the right data, work with your physician, know how to go ahead and make you the right oral sleep appliance just for you and that will work best for you and also go ahead and control your teeth grinding also known as bruxism. And there are a lot of other ways that a trained dentist can go ahead and get you that kind of relief and get you that really good night's sleep. So go ahead and stop living with obstructive sleep apnea. Stop living with teeth grinding or bruxism or headaches, migraines, TMJ. All these conditions may be related in you. Get tested by a trained dentist and finally get the relief that you need and the right oral sleep appliance and any other treatment that will really give you a much better better quality of life.